Prosper is a delivery model that is a community-based driven effort implementing two separate programs that complement each other and um, have about 20, 25 years worth of research behind them. Uh, here in Fredericktown, we have a big presence of folks from within the school district that help move Prosper forward and some other community volunteers. And we work to implement Botvin life skill training. We focus on the sixth or seventh grade students um, right there in that transitional period from being a kid to becoming a, a young teenager. Um, there's a lot happening in that developmental stage and the Botvin life skills at that transitional point can make a big, a positive impact in the youth's development. The parents, they are being exposed to ideas on how to communicate with their teen better, um, how to enhance more positive relationship with their teen. The students kind of learn more of what the parents are dealing with and the parents are learning more about what the students are dealing with as well. They are learning ways to support each other. They've given us quite a few ideas of things that's helped us to be able to communicate and do more things as a family. We've actually done very well and been really appreciative of the program. It's helped immensely. Parents all being there that kind of lean on each other and then learn from, you know, each other or their kid. Um, and at the same time, the kids are learning down the hall with another lesson, and their lessons are focused on positive ways to deal with stress. How to identify someone as a good friend. That peer pressure can be pretty daunting sometimes, um, and it's hard when you're a kid to say no to your friend, even if it's a bad idea. Um, the teenage years are a challenge for any parent. Um, it's just the nature of teenagers. And a lot of times the communication just starts to break down between parents and teens just because of the natural things that are happening in a teenager's life. And then they come to the Strengthening Family series with their parents and they increase that family cohesion. They learn how to communicate better with their parent. They learn how to show appreciation to each other, which is huge in building positive relationships that we communicate a whole lot better. We're able to empathize with one another of what she's dealing with in you know, this, her stage of development. If you have youth and fam, you know, parent and caregivers, the family unit, who are able to communicate, then I think that makes a stronger family. Because not all families have the same struggles. Because everyone has a different thing that goes on in their life and people don't know about. And then when this comes together, it just helps every family kind of show what's going on in their actual family on their daily basis. I like being able to actually do stuff with like hands-on instead of just like talking about it because it's easier for you to learn when you do things instead of just hear it. I like it when we get to spend more time together as a family. So I wanted to have the skills to be able to stand up to peer pressure and I, we kind of had this consensus that it's about helping others. Um, the research shows that they don't develop lifelong problems, substance use disorders as often if they've completed the programs included in the PROSPER model. So it really does take a whole team to implement the Strengthening Families 10 to 14 series, um, whether that is a PROSPER team or whether that is just a community team. It's a big effort each week to offer those lessons. Um, and when you have that Prosper team, you have that whole uh, group of folks that are ready to jump in and help make that happen each week. And they've always had the old saying, it takes a village to raise a, raise a child. The more the community comes together, the better off the children are gonna be in that community. 10 to 14 age range, there was nothing available to educate me on peer pressure and how to navigate the, you know, the high school days. As the mayor of this town, it's important to see strong family units who can offer something for the community. And it takes strong families for a community. If you don't have that, what future leaders are we raising? It's just awesome being part of a program that you know is helping a young person to find a good path 
that will take them to the future that they're hoping to find.